Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom Vroid character, bring it into Unreal Engine 5.6, and replace the default third-person mannequin with it. The first step is to download Vroid Studio from the official website. Once the installer is ready, run it and complete the setup. After installing Vroid Studio, open the program and let's begin creating our custom Vroid character. When you open the program, you'll see some sample characters included. Here are the sample models you can use right away, or you can start from scratch and create your own character. For this tutorial, I selected the female template as a base. From there, I customized the character by changing her eyes, hairstyle, and clothing to create a unique look. Once I was satisfied, I exported the model as a VRM file.
Now our Vroid character is ready, so let's export it for Unreal Engine. Click the Export button, leave all the settings as default, and in the VRM settings, type an avatar name and creator name. For example, I named the avatar Emma, and for creator, I wrote Metaverse Marvels. Then click Export. After exporting the VRM file, open Unreal Engine 5.6 and create a new project using the third-person template with maximum quality and desktop platform. Name it whatever you like. I called mine VRM underscore P. Next, install the Vroid plugin for 5.6 by extracting it and copying the plugins folder into your project. Then restart the editor. Once Unreal reopens, go to Plugins, search for VRM, and make sure it's enabled. Now, let's import the Vroid character we created earlier. Create a new folder. I named mine Vroid underscore C, then import the exported VRM file. Be sure to check the Generate IK Bone option and click Import. The model should now be imported successfully. Open the RTG underscore Emma skeleton to confirm the rig and animations, and you'll see that everything is working properly. Now let's set Emma as the playable game character. Select the third person animation blueprint. Click Retarget Animations and choose Emma Skeleton as the target. Uncheck Auto-Generated Retargeter and instead, select the retarget asset for RTG underscore Emma. Make sure all animations are playing correctly. Then export the animations into a folder. You'll see the new animation blueprint and all the animations exported successfully. Open the animation blueprint. Go Go to the third person character and assign Emma's skeletal mesh. Make sure the correct animation blueprint is selected, then save everything. Now press play and Emma appears as the game character, running with all animations working. Finally, let's add eye blinking to make the character more lifelike. Open Emma's skeletal mesh and check the Morph Targets tab. Here you'll find different morphs. I look. the eye close morph and copied its name. In the third person character blueprint, add an event begin play node. Drag in the skeletal mesh and create a set morph target node. Paste the morph target name for eye close. Then add a timeline node, name it IB, and create a float track with a length of half a second. Add three keyframes, at time zero with value one, 
at time 0.25 with value 1, and at time 0.5 with value 1. Then set all keys to auto for smooth transition. Connect the timeline's update pin to the set morph target node. Then add a delay node set to two seconds so the blink repeats at intervals. Now press play. At first it didn't work because the morph target was connected to finished instead of update. But after fixing that, the eye blinking works perfectly. Emma is now fully animated, moving and blinking like a lifelike character.